All right, back on the Tonelli Habutle. Look at that. Second ride. And it's like 61 degrees out. So I've decided to expose my skinny pale legs to the world as kind of like a theft deterrent and a uh, conspicuity measure. Holy crap. But look at this. You can't see it actually, but spring is almost here. I got short fingered gloves. Throw the handlebar bag on the bike. Put the uh, Back on. And I'm riding Chanelli Hobud Lake. There's nothing like that feeling like two, three hours after a ride. When you've come home and you've showered, had something to eat, and you're just chilling at home probably lying on the couch or something like that and your legs they tingle they feel alive like they're working to recover from the day's ride but they feel good look motorcycles are out too ah. so I had that feeling after my first ride and I was like that was a feeling I haven't felt in a while. So I'm back. Sneaking out during the work week. I will work later. I will have my dinner and then work into the evening to make up for this. Look at this. Holy cow. I made some small adjustments to the bike, lowered the saddle just a hair. Lowered the saddle just a hair, moved it up a bit too, tilted a little bit forward, feel more comfortable. It's just miles on the bike. I'll become one. Zen. Le moto, or le bicyclette. So, we're coming up to No Hands Bridge, just like last week, or Saturday. So we're gonna no hands it over the bridge and then get back to riding. Wearing my trusty old 20 year old Pearl Izumi wool long sleeve jersey. Feels great. The wind comes through, puts a little chill, but it doesn't make you cold. It just dries you out so you're not sweating and stuff like that. It's beautiful. There's a car behind us. All right. No hands bridge. Ellie bootleg. Woo. All right. I'm going to put this away and get back to the ride. I'll catch you on the road. Two wheels, 360.